alaikum and hello. My name is Asya Bajwa. Today I'm going to talk about motivation. A friend of mine once asked me that she don't feel motivated to work and what can she do? And I was like, I was totally blank. I had no idea what she should be doing. Since then, I started noticing that what I actually do when I feel not so motivated to work and how do I overcome that phase and what are the reasons, first of all, that you feel not so motivated? So I've come up with 13 things that happen and that you can work on. So let's begin. The first thing you need to check is that are you okay? Is your health okay? Because sometimes you're not eating well or you're not feeling well and you feel that it's you're lacking motivation to work. So check if you're eating healthy food. Sometimes I've seen people eating all kind of junk and when it comes to healthy food, they feel, they say that, oh, we don't want to eat it, we want to check our diet. So don't do this. Even if you want to eat junk food, eat healthy food with it. This will give you a lot of energy and when you have energy, you want to spend it, you want to do something. It's like money, if you have it, you want to spend it somewhere. If still you don't feel uh, good and any kind of energy or motivation, uh, take vitamins. Also I've noticed that if you eat a lot many things that have preservatives in them, then you feel lack of energy, especially if it's a low quality thing. They have low quality preservatives in it and that just makes you feel exhausted all the time. So eat healthy, keep your food as simple as you can. Simple food will give you the most energy. And eat light food too. Also, your mental health also counts in that. If somebody has said something bad to you and you keep thinking about it, just switch that button off. Think of something good that they have ever said to you and or to someone else you will instantly feel better, trust me. So that was my first point. Second thing is if you're working, if you've started your work after a long gap, you will feel lost at the beginning. You can't be like motivated at once to work. You might be planning a lot, but you, you will notice that you won't be able to start your work at once. It's just like uh, when kids are back to school, you you remember your childhood, don't you? You feel a little bit lost. What should I do? You're completely lost. So tell yourself to work for at least five minutes a day. Let's start with five or fifteen minutes. And as to always said, you will be surprised that you will end up working more than five minutes or fifteen minutes. So that will bring you back to your track and it will help you a lot. And when you will be back on your track, you will automatic, automatically feel motivated and you will be, you will have desire to work more and more and more. So this was my second point. My third point is fear of being alone. Imagine if you're working for five hours, people around you are going to ignore you, like they will be, they will try their best not to disturb you, which is good and that is what you want. But that fear of being alone for that time that you will be working is, it's a big thing. It's, it's the biggest dinosaur in the room. Get rid of it. Just get it out of the room. You can imagine that your ears, your eyes, your hands, your brain, these are all people. And when you're working, they are there with you and you are having a lot of fun with them and your work. And you will not feel alone at all. Perhaps that isolation with these people is very important. Like your brain, your heart, your mind, and your hands, your eyes. You have to be there with them and not with other people. So that fear of being alone is quite a big hurdle in 
in the way of your work and your motivation to work, let's say. So that is my third point. Okay, my fourth point is that don't feel too much pressure. When you feel a lot of pressure, you just don't want to work. I had an experience to teach a grade two class. And whenever I told those kids to be serious, they were bored and they just had no energy and they were not willing to even listen. But whenever I told them that it's a game and that we are going to play, they were like so serious. They wanted to put their heart, their soul in that work. And they had so much energy and motivation. When we grow up, we are still like that. We only think that we are not like that, but we are. From inside, we are. We still feel motivated when we feel that it's a game, it's fun. So take it as fun. Don't be so serious that don't take it in a way that you spoil the fun of, of that work. So enjoy it. When you watch something, like let's say we watch a movie, we can feel that the energy behind it. We can feel how much passion there was behind it. So that kind of passion and that energy and that fun and that joy of doing that work, it's a very main ingredient. So you need that ingredient, so keep that in your work to get motivated. So this was my point four. Okay, now my fifth point is have that hunger of perfection and be ready to learn. When you do something and you assume that, okay, whatever I know, I'm going to apply that in this work and I'm not going to learn anything else and this is what I'm going to do, then there's no charm left in that. Have that hunger of perfection and imagine that you're never going to reach there and it's a, it's an ongoing struggle and you have to learn new things you have to do mistakes you have to correct your mistakes you have to reach some point where your work would look outstanding better than anybody's or better than even your own work that you did previously so that kind of uh, struggle and interest in learning also give you motivation if you're stuck, if you stay to, like, let's say you're reading a novel and if you want to stay on page one, then what's the point? So keep your goals high. By the way, I have these flowers with me. They are motivating me to work. It smells so good. My seventh point is start your work early. By early, I mean early in the morning. Wake up early, start your work early, and you will automatically feel more motivated to work. Your body is ready to work hard in the morning and in the evening you automatically feel very sleepy, very low in energy. You must have heard it many times before, for some reason it works. Also for me, if I start doing something else in the morning, like if I just lie down and I watch YouTube videos, I end up watching them for like 4 or 5 hours. Or if I start cleaning up my house or just arranging something or organizing things I end up okay I was taking a short break so the lighting is different now sponsor for today's video is my Etsy shop you can find this painting and many more on my Etsy shop so go check it out after this video so my eighth point is that never think that your ideas are less than anybody's ideas so when you work, everyone goes through that feeling of like lacking of ideas or that chaotic feeling. It will soon go. It just needs your presence and what's needed is your presence at your workplace. Just do something, do whatever you have in your mind and, and you will soon see that ideas will be jumping in front of you. So never think that your work is less or in other words don't try to compare your work with anybody's work just be yourself and do something different do something creative something that shows your personality so my next point is think from consumers perspective have you ever thought that there are enough singers in this world like 
all these centuries there have been enough singers and now you don't need the world don't need any more singers so please please don't come that's not nobody thinks like that so consumer wants new people consumer wants new people in the business they want to see more work they want to see new ideas new mind so what i mean to say is that never fear from bigger sharks in the field my 10th point is that never assume that there will be no hard work needed when people assume that there will be no hard work needed and we'll be just doing something like it will be a piece of cake it won't be like that even the smallest success has a lot of hard work behind it so it might look like a piece of cake for successful people but that's because you were not there when they were struggling you were not there when they were doing their hard work so be ready be prepared for hard work and have a lot of fun with hard work and remember that hard work comes before success even in dictionary okay now we come to our 11th point my 11th point is that keep things pure when you add any kind of greed in your work then your focus turns into onto that thing like i'm not saying that don't have desire of earning money or don't have desire of uh, getting fame or anything like that but when you're working keep it pure don't focus too much on things that will happen afterwards when you do that you just you just end up creating something crappy or you just end up working all nonsense that's not needed i give you an example over here now if you make a movie let's say you're making a film and you think about it being hit on box office all the time chances are that you will be focusing on it too much and you will be ending up creating something too commercial something that people have already seen 1 million times and they are not ready to see it again so keep things pure you'll have more fun you'll have more motivation you'll have more success and success also gives you motivation to work more so success is important even the smallest one like like even the smallest one that's important that gives you courage to work more even failure gives you courage to more, work more though but i'm just saying that keep it pure don't dilute your attention or your passion too much don't mix it up so keeping it pure will keep you more focused to your actual work like the actual work is important other things are just distraction whether you get success afterwards or not whether it's popular or not it has to be a good quality work you ha- you need to do work like that's the first thing that that's important rest just comes with the time and with luck and you know sometimes something is not popular but then all of a sudden everybody wants that thing so there is time for everything okay so don't worry about other th- other things just just work just get up and work let's go to the next point okay i don't have many points left but there are still two and very important point my 12th point is that fancy your work like imagine it when you're about to sleep imagine yourself working when you wake up imagine yourself working and that helps for some reason that helps whatever you think more you just get involved more in that so if that helps that it costs nothing so just do it imagine your work imagine yourself working imagine yourself you know imagine your ideas imagine your your equipment make your workplace comfortable imagine what else is needed over there okay my 13th and final point is and this this helps me a lot like all these points these are all of personal experience but this last one is something that i do like religiously so So this last point of mine is that look up at other people's work and the way they work 
not only of your field but maybe of other fields like totally different fields than what your field is and maybe of your field as well so check out how they work how like the background of it people put a lot of work in there and a lot of effort so when you see that you you kind of set your targets and you understand what the game is like you understand what you're supposed to do so that's very important so i keep on these days thank god we can watch so many videos and so many things that we can get a better idea on how people are working how professionals are working how much work they put um, on the like what are, what are they doing behind behind the scenes like what kind of effort they are adding by behind the scene i mean that the struggle that don't come in front of everybody we mostly see the end product we mostly see the successful business we mostly see a hit movie we mostly see that what and how something ended up but watch behind the scenes see how much struggle a singer is doing in a, a studio and how much struggle a painter is doing in a studio what else they do how they get inspirations what they do they, they spend a lot of time they give their work a lot of time you have to give your work a lot of time that's like final thing so I don't know how else I can tell you how to motivate yourself I have given you a number of ideas and a number of tips now and I think that's enough and I should be completing my painting and I will be seeing you in my next video soon